Hello YouTube, it's an update time once again, I'm, I've been a while but I'm back with a brand new update, it's reasonably sized one since, you know, it's been my birthday since last update, and I'm recording this on my phone so you're going to have to excuse the few jump cuts because for whatever reason my phone thinks it's funny to stop recording, and so, and so to prevent that from happening let's just get started, so I've got one cinema ticket and that is Ready Player One which I just saw a, literally a couple of minutes ago. It was pretty good, I enjoyed it. Now on to the Blu-rays, I've got six. First one is is an 80s comedy film and a very, very good one. Spaceballs, Mel Brooks, John Candy and Rick Moranis. Yeah, this is a really flipping brilliant film, really funny. And I couldn't stop laughing. It's it's funny how I have this, but I don't have the original Star Wars films, and I have seen them, but I want, but I don't want the, but I don't want the special edition, Greedo shot first crap, and Disney. I know you own Fox now, so there's absolutely no excuse for you not to put out the original trilogy. Uh, never mind. Anyway, space balls. There's the disc. And actually on the back it has very few little extras. Can't read that because it's blurry. But but the but it's got a lot more extras on it than the back says. Yeah, if that makes any sense. Next one is it's another 80s film, Tron, the original classic. This is a Disney one, that one was MGM. It's it's a pretty good film, it's it's not really that great story-wise, but you know, come it's, it's visual effects are decent, despite the fact they've not aged that well. But what do you expect? It's an early example of CG being used in film. Anyway, there's the disc. It's blue because Disney are cheap and can't put to put disc art on it anymore. Next one is a really good film. This one is it's a film Quentin Tarantino wrote. He didn't direct this one. It was I think it was Tony Scott who directed this one. And that is True Romance. This is the director's cut with Christian Slater, Patricia Arquette. I hate it when they do that. And also with um, Dennis Hopper, Val Kilmer, Gary Oldman, Brad Pitt, and Christopher Walken. So, yeah, this is a brilliant film. This one is. This one is it's just fun. I enjoy this one. There it is. And I've noticed a little error right there. And that is the fact that it says Region 2. But there is no such re but that's not how region codes work on Blu-rays. It's usually A, B, and C, and in most cases region three. I think this is a region three one, so why it says region two, which is the DVD region, is anyone's guess. But it but on the disc it does say Blu-ray, and it is a Blu-ray disc. So I'd, I'd be pretty fucking pissed if it had the DVD. <laughs> Anyway, and there's a little thing for an important notice. Important notice gubbins. Next one is another brilliant film. This one is a very forgotten film. Actually, True Romance is also pretty forgotten because that had bombed at the box office. But, you know, it'll come, it's becoming more of a cult classic. This is one which a lot of people seem to forget about, this one. Falling Down. Michael Douglas film. This is brilliant. It's such a good film. The acting from Michael Douglas is brilliant, and a lot of people forget about this film. I think that's kind of the plague with all of Joel Schumacher's films, because, you know, Joel Schumacher, he did Batman and Robin. I, I think he does get way too much slack nowadays, because a lot of people seem to forget that he's directed some good stuff. And you shouldn't pin the blame solely on Schumacher for his Batman films. You can blame Warner Brothers, because they were the ones who wanted to make him more kid-friendly, but no, well. And you can't read that, but on the Irish one, they've got a typo. They say 12 years or more on there. But it's not 12 in Ireland, it's 18. The UK one, they've got it right. There's the disc. And there's the same notice. Next one is a really good film. This one is really suspense. Full, it's based off Stephen King book, this one is. Misery. Paul Sheldon used to write for a living. Now he's... Now he's writing to stay alive. This is fucking amazing, this film, if you've not seen it before. James Kahn, Kathy Bates. You know, Kathy Bates plays Annie Wilkes, and you've got the infamous um, 
hobbling scene when she smashes his legs with with a with a sledgehammer. And what's really quite flipping annoying about this particular Blu-ray is the fact that even on the most basic DVD versions, you'd get a few extras. You know, you get the Annika Wills documentary, you get you know commentary trailers and stuff. This has no extras, absolutely none, bugger all, which is really fucking annoying. So that means I'm going to have to purchase the DVD version if I want the extras. I mean, it's a nice presentation of the film in HD. So you know, if you want just the film, you know. You know, come, it's probably better if you go for this version, but if you want like the the option to have extras, go for the DVD. Next, and then the final film I've got on Blu-ray is another film. This is a film I actually ordered online because HMV didn't have it. In fact, the whole reason why I bought Misery was because the way HMV Blu-rays work, it's usually, I think it's usually free for £20 and five for £30 and... This was a film HMV have on their website, but they didn't have it in store, and so I ended up buying Misery, you know, to try and get the deal up, because I wasn't originally going to get Misery, but oh, well, at least I made a good choice, and I ordered this one off Amazon. Clerks, or Clarks, anyway, 15th anniversary edition, which actually is kind of like, as the film was about 17 years old when this particular issue came out. This is such a good film. If you've not seen it before, it's flipping hilarious. The acting's well done. It's, it's I mean, it's a simple storyline, but very good. So, and it's, you know, shot on 16mm black and white shooting budget. Anyway, this is a Lionsgate release. This is a Miramax film. It used to... Disney originally put out the Blu-ray of this, but after Disney sold off Miramax, Lionsgate reissued it. And this is one of the earlier ones, as you can tell by the fact that it uses... I mean, you can't make it out. In fact, I'm going to stop recording for a second, and then I'm going to see if I can get it better in focus. There. There, sorry about that, I just had to try and get the camera back into focus. But I like how on the old... On the... On some of the older Lionsgate and the Studio Canal release, some Miramax ones, they keep the old Buena Vista layout. They don't use their own layout, which is pretty cool. That really kind of, that really kind of, the way you can tell if you've got the Disney version is if it doesn't mention Lionsgate and if it says the, I think also it says Miramax Films as opposed to just Miramax and the fact that underneath it says like definitive high def experience. But you know, the master I think is identical because on the warning it mentions Walt Disney. Anyway, there's the discs grey, which I'm assuming was kind of when they were trying to pick a colour for the discs. Or we decided to put disc art on them. Which I suppose grey kind of fits with the style of the film. Next, now that's all the Blu-rays, now we're on to the DVDs. Now, this DVD, now this film, the two of the films Quentin Tarantino had some involvement in. And the first film is a film which Tarantino directed a part of. It was a comedy anthology film with three different directors, those directors being Alison Anders, Alexandra Rockwell, Robert Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino and that film is Four Rooms with Tim Roth, Antonio Banderas, Jennifer Beals, Paul Calderon, Sammy Davis, Valino Galino, Madonna, David Provile, Ion Sky, Lily Taylor, Marissa Tomei, Tam Montemita and Bruce Willis but Bruce Willis is uncredited. Anyway this is a Miramax release, the original release was by Touchstone um, which Disney put out but they decided Rather than using the Miramax Home Entertainment label, they used, despite being a Miramax film, they they, they used the Touchstone label. <coughs> but I'm assuming this one, the reason I put this one off Amazon, because it, because of what, what the hell? Um, because I had a fear that on some old Disney releases, some of them are non-anamorphic widescreen, and some of them are anamorphic widescreen. I'll, you can look it up, and I had a fear the old release, which was slightly cheaper on Amazon, would be non-anamorphic, and so I bought this version. And I'm still kind of confused about it, because if you look on the files on the disc, it says they were put on there in 2002, and on the warning screen it mentions Buena Vista, and it has you know, Miramax Home Entertainment and things. But if you look right there, it says... It's on like a dual layer disc, but the original release was on single layer, so 
don't know what's going on, but you know, anyway. And I like how on the DVD releases they keep the old Buena Vista layout, they don't use their own, which is pretty cool. Yeah, this film, it's an okay film, it's... The first part is pretty flipping stupid with this like weird covenant of riches trying to resurrect their trying to resurrect their master or something, I don't know. But it gets better, you know, when like Antonio Banderas comes in, Quentin Tarantino and stuff, you know. It gets a lot better and just give this film a chance, you might enjoy it. And it's a pity that they never tackled another film like this because you know, come I mean, it was a bomb at the time and critics reviled it and so so nobody's really tried to do like a proper sort of comedy anthology film with four different directors. Anyway, there's the disc. <coughs> Next film is a film Quentin Tarantino had even little to do with, and that is Quentin Tarantino presents Curdled. William Baldwin and Angela Jones. Gabriella has a killer new job. Gabriella is dead serious about her new job. It's another Miramax one. This is quite older one. It's a Studio Canal release one. And it's a quite interesting film, this one is. Um, quite an interesting concept, if not a little bit. Um, it doesn't really fit the feature length film formula because this was originally a short film by, um, what's his face, Red Braddock. And Tarantino saw the short film he liked it and then he put some money towards turning it into a feature but unfortunately kind of the story doesn't really adapt well to the feature length formula I mean it's a decent film you know come I definitely know critics hated it but you know it's enjoyable for what it is you know Angela Jones puts in a pretty good performance William Baldwin you know being the buffoon as the killer anyway And there's the disc. It's an okay film. Next, next film is actually set. Now I was originally going to buy just the first film, but I but H they didn't have just the first film on its own. They had the sequel, and I figured since you know it wasn't any more expensive, I'd just buy the bullet. That is Roadhouse and Last Call. If you watch Family Guy, then you probably will probably recognise the title Roadhouse in that episode. Yeah. Anyway, and this one also has one Last Call with it. I haven't seen Last Call yet, but I probably will never watch it. I've seen the first Roadhouse. It's fucking stupid. It's absolutely blooming cheesy, but you know, like it's enjoyably cheesy. It's enjoyably dumb. Where there's the discs. Roadhouse and Roadhouse 2. And then the final two DVDs are a box are two box sets and they're two television ones. And then the first one is Bottom, the complete collection. I've also got the young ones as well, and I think I need like Comic Strip Presents, Full Rich and Cat Flap and things. And this is the HMV version, but if you, but there is a version out there which has a different cover. There's literally no difference. You know, come on, there's no bonus content or anything. It's just a different slip cover to matching with their classic comedy range. There's the back. There's series one. This is um, Adrian Edmondson and Rick Mail. This is probably, I think it's better than Bottom in my. Better than the young ones, sorry. But you know, I mean, they're both as good as each other. They're both great comedy series, this and the young ones. There's the disc for disc one, and there's adverts for other alternative comedy DVDs. There's the back. Series two. Pretty cool. This advert. And here's series three. <laughs> uh, one sec. Yeah. Okay, so that was bottom, and now the final DVD set. You know, it won't be DVD and film bloke update if there isn't any Doctor Who. And I bought only one box set, but it's one which I've been after for a while. And I finally bit the bullet. I finally bought it. 
the key to time collection. I haven't seen any of the stories in this set, by the way, yet, so I haven't got around to doing it. Which I probably should do. Anyway, it's too entertaining to release this one is. This is basically, I think this is season 16. Yeah, the entirety of season 16. So there's the reboss operation. There's the disc. The pirate planet. The stones of blood. The Androids of Tara. The Power of Kroll. And the Armageddon Factor. And if you notice right there, since it's a six part, it comes with two discs. One disc with the story on it, the other disc with extras. So that was my update. I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, I'll be seeing you next time.